Oh, I look snuggly. Happy Friday morning. I think it's still morning. 11.44, still morning. I am just going to nip into town with Ashley because she wants some jeans. I think she ordered them online, she's just gonna pick them up. But I have to go around the back because, oh, I'm at home, I'm in Hull. Um, got here last night and I don't have a front door key. So I need to go around the back. And I hope I have my keys in my pocket. I do. Putting my shoes on. Also, how adorable is my new scarf, by the way? It's the Primark one, of course. It just looks absolutely massive with no perspective to what I'm wearing. And this jacket. Oh, I'll tell you a story about this jacket. I fell in love with a H&M jacket. And it was about somewhere between 70 and 90 pounds. Very, very expensive. But it was the only black leather jacket I'd seen with a leopard print collar and that was what I wanted. Oh, okay. And I was just thinking, well, I know they do some kind of like payment plan. But in my brain, I was just like, no, I'm not the kind of person that's going to spend that much money on a jacket. And then we were in the Metro Centre yesterday more on that later and I saw this I'm wearing so many lace and we'd gone into Dorothy Perkins on just an off chance I don't shop in there there's Ashley's car um, yeah just on an off chance turns out they had 30% off quite a lot of stuff so I got this jacket for £30 31 55 Ooh. Morning! Whee! Ooh, the door closed itself. Ashley actually came to visit me <laughs> on Wednesday, which was so lovely and we had the nicest two days. We went to Roca Beach. Well, we're actually on Seaburn Beach. They, they turn into each other. It's the same thing. And, um,. There was the most insane sunset and I was just like basically crying it or it wasn't I? We both were, we were just like, mm. it was so insane and there was like nobody else on this beach. It was literally just me and her and we were like, this is like the most romantic moment of my entire life. We've got to meet a baby. Brave little Miss Sunshine over here. She drove all the way to Sunderland on Wednesday and then drove us both all the way back yesterday, last night. And you were so good. So I'm sick of driving there. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Oh. And um, but yeah, we went yesterday. What did we do on Wednesday? We were on Wednesday. You arrived. Yeah, I got there like half two. Wasn't it? Uh, yeah, quite early afternoon. I uh, gave her a little flat tour, which obviously didn't take very long. Sub two will any on the back of that car. Can you see it? It's scratching the back. He's a YouTuber. From Newcastle. Yeah, he basically just like finds really funny things on the internet and talks like Reddit sub feeds and stuff and talks about oh. it. That was really weird. <laughs> we did plan on going to the Illuminations, but it's only on from Thursday to Sunday, so it's only on the weekends really. And we wanted to go on the Wednesday night, but it wasn't on. And then we're like, oh, we'll just go tomorrow. It's fine. But we still went to the beach anyway. We had some chips from a little window, like a little fish and chip window, wasn't it? It was really cute. And they went, do you want batter on that? And we both just looked at them and went, yeah. You said that in the most Yorkshire accent, but like they were so they were, I don't know how to do a Geordie accent. I've lived there for over three years. I still can't do an accent. They were so Geordie, but we were like, uh, we were like, yeah. What? yeah. yeah. It was just like, yeah. Alright, we'll Because Ashley was getting a sausage and we just assumed that it, it was going to be a battered sausage. Yeah, but fun. apparently, that's what they call scraps. So we had scraps and it was I feel nice. like, like, if you call scraps anything different, that you should let us know. Yeah, um, if any of you are watching this that aren't from Hull, please let us know what you call scraps. And if you don't know what scraps are from the way I'm trying to explain it, it's the extra bits of batter that like falls off. Yeah, like things that are battered. When you go to the chippy. Yeah, when it goes to the chippy, they've got the full like thing full of the leftover 
like butter scrapings. Yeah. You said somewhere calls oh, yeah. it scrapings. When I was in like Wakefield, they called them scrapings, and I was like. What? What is that? Okay, so we've got batter, scraps and scrapings. If you call them anything else, please let me know because I'm now very invested in this. If you call them anything nice, like that's something that's not like, nice. They're all rank words, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. I think scraps is cute. Yeah, scraps isn't that bad, but like scrapings. Scraping sounds rank. Right. <laughs> scraping. Nope. And I'm still very proud of you for doing the big drive. The drive back from the metro centre was bad enough. Do you know, right, the motorway driving was fine, like driving to and from Sunderland was fine. It's driving in Sunderland, that's that, hard. That drive home from the metro centre pissed me off. We got really badly stuck in rush hour traffic. Like, and that's because we was on the A1 the whole time, like that wasn't even like city driving, that was just no, that was, traffic. No, that, that was an A road. Uh, the, the A1 is the road that had... Um, one of the ways for the internet cut through, which is why I ended up going out with in without internet for like two days. So I'm just now having bad experiences with the A1. I don't like the A1. But now we're going to get some jeans. I really need some jeans. Because it turns out shopping in the metro centre is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really tiring. It's exhausting. Yeah. Realistically, the only shops that we went in that don't exist here is the American Sweet Shop. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, but I did get my grapevines, so I'm really happy about that. And it was nice to look at the Christmas decorations, wasn't it? They had these humongous, like... You ring my mirror on there. Sorry, babe. <laughs> humongous <laughs> reindeers. And we just thought they were arches, didn't we? Because the legs were so tall. We just thought they were like these nice little Christmas arches. Yeah. But little, huge. And we was like... And then we looked up and it was like, that. oh, that's a reindeer. But they didn't put the baubles on the nose. No. They fully missed a trick not putting a red bauble on the nose. But still, it was really high. Stressful as fuck, well, but <laughs> It's now 9pm. <sighs> yeah, probably something like that. There's been nothing vlog worthy all day. We, we just watched a shit loads of catfish. Loads of catfish. We caught up with the most recent episode of... Well, we still got one to watch. <coughs> We've got, well, we've got one to watch on the computer. We watched the one on um, Now TV, didn't we? The other one. Yeah, that one was like the best one and of the season so really far. it was really good. Yeah, it was sick. My scarf is massive. Oh, look at my hair. You can see it. But yeah, that one, that one was absolutely fantastic. Like, proper scary as well. Yeah, it was good. And I keep hearing fireworks, but I can't see any. Ooh, moon look, look at the moon. Eye. Can we get a moon shot in? No, you won't be able to see it at all. You can't even in zoom lenses. So. It's, it's gone now anyway. It's gone behind a cloud. It's just there. I can't see it. You might have been pointing at a lamppost. Yes. I just want to kill you all the time. You just want to kill me all the time? <coughs> My arms are too short. You do it. <coughs> My arms are too short. No cleaning. Hmm. Where are my joggers? The shop. And my pyjama I'm wearing hoodie, blue jeans, and <laughs> Billy shoes. I want blue jeans. <laughs> You're getting slacks. I want blue jeans. Pajama top. What's in? Comfy. Close and Sam. Close and Sam. It's calling time. I look like a spaniel. Ten. Seven till ten. Stop it. Right, we're gonna go to Tinsbury's. Okay, we've got his pasta and his cheese. Just nearly fell. Now what? Oh. Can you snuggle in me? <laughs> yes. Quad aisle. Quad? What are you eating? That shit oh, 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 oh. Cute! Oh look! He's one pound and five p. All the, all the sale Halloween. Oh! <coughs> That's really cute. It's a master ball. I choose you. <laughs> I caught you. You just throw a poke ball. Zebra. 
master bowl at my head. Thick on Pineapple, lemon, orange, lime. <coughs> Lim. On the label. Are you going to drink it as well? No. No, uh, then no. I only like orange. Yeah. Fructus. It's only 1.40. No, no. You're carrying it. No, sorry, I don't want to carry it. <laughs> this one. I've been tickled. <laughs> Get like... some nopper, 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 nopper. I like these. They're like pretzel sticks. Paluski. They're nice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> can I? It fell over your foot. Zezikki. Cherissimo. Cherissimo. Michaski. Fuck me in. Masse panty. A gorky conskara This one is masse panty. That's chicken. Masse panty. Chicken patty. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. <laughs> sauce. 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 Get some sauce in ya. Pack it up, pack it in. Can it say onion garlic on it? My ah, shit. Oh, that's my shit. Oh, I bought this stuff for you. Oh, I guess why I'm being like this. You have me run like this. Ain't no This my shit. Lick my shit. This is my shit. Do yeah, you want any rice? Like I've zoomed in then? <laughs> nah, I don't like rice. Rice is for geeks. Leaving your dad. What's he doing up there? And Rollins with his white He's bit. He's with blonde hair. Yes. If only you'd do that in real life. Seth, oh, look, there's another Seth, mimic Seth, if you're watching you. this, put that blonde bit back in your hair. Mimic you again. There's another mimic you. There's a little Chewbacca hiding in there. You don't belong in there. There's a rock ruff as well. There he is. Rock Hello. ruff's fucking sick, man. And there's a roller at the back and a poplar there. Oh, my God. And a Pikachu. That's so cute. Look at his little face. There's Monopoly and Scrabble, but no jigsaw. <laughs> cute. Please, no. Look at it there. Please, no. Okay, bye. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I've got the money. From the trouble in my life. You're fucking crackhead. Ooh, your button bag. No. There's Christmas stuff everywhere. Mistletoe and lime. Whoa, look at them. They're all nice. Like a noise. The Oreo one, isn't it? Mm. They don't do it for me. Anything with sprinkles on, does though? Yeah, sprinkles there. Anything with no sprinkles on. Like, tray bake that you used to get at school, mate. What, with sprinkles on? Yeah, where it was like, it was just like Victoria's cake. I never had school cake. dinners. Icing, sprinkles. I was a pack lunch. Pasta bitch. King was the shit, man. It was all juice and then like three bits of pasta. Cake. It was fucking banging. Cake. What's a Cake. frangipane? Oh, I should know that from Bake Off. What? A frangipane. Frang. 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 Frangipan. <laughs> it's so noisy. Do you ever just want to punch a cake? Oh, damn. Just look at that one, I just want to, want to punch it. Do not punch the cake. Help me. <laughs> really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> really expensive pair of white gold hoops. No, she's like, toops. Toops. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care where they're because they're everything. <laughs> <laughs> Made out with a hot dog. That was one time. <laughs> We just did a BuzzFeed quiz. My leg is in the air. We just did a BuzzFeed quiz. What was it? Just Mean Girls trivia. It was 16 questions of Mean Girls trivia. It was like, you could only get 16 out of 16 if you watched Mean Girls a thousand times. And Stephen got, got, right. <coughs> I got like 14. 14 out of 16 and then I got 16 out of 16. And for the past 20 minutes we've been quoting Mean Girls and cry laughing. Yes. And like a legit cry laughing. Yeah, cry laughing. Did you sell it when I sneak in your door? Make a love to you, woman on the bathroom floor. I don't play like Shaggy. She knows it was me. Next time you see me, she'll be like, oh, Gavin G. Gavin G. You Puerto Rican? Lebanese. I feel, I feel like. like. <laughs>
Oh my god, Danny DeVito, I love your work! <laughs> it's so funny! <laughs> We've quoted oh. the same things about well, six times. When he's got that fucking pastrami in his face, he's like... Rim, rim, rim. <laughs> With the <that> hump! <laughs> it's like fucking pastrami or something. <laughs> the greatest people you'll ever be. And um, the worst. And the worst. <laughs> What's the bit when they're at the party? He's like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find Jason. Isn't he your cousin? He's, yeah, but he's my second cousin. Yeah, he's my second cousin. <laughs> he's your first cousin. He's a great cousin. Isn't he your cousin? Seth. Your nipples are a little down. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Money shot. Money shot. <laughs> we don't kill turkeys. Mm we fuck them. We fuck them. If you listen closely to me, buddy, it sounds like <coughs> this. Wow, 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 wow. Fuck me fuck in the me right, the right quid, the pussy mouth. <laughs> Dogs have red hot rocket dicks. Honey! Call the kennel! Why are you sure? I'm bigger than my head. Yeah, I'm just being. Ooh, look at that brow. I'm here. When you not healed tattoo on my face. Mm. That feels <coughs> disgusting. I'm good my tattoo. Isn't it nice? Where's your other one? This one's my favourite. Show me yours. Black Spookoff. Black Spookoff. Well, that means I've had it for a whole weekend. Week. <coughs> a whole week. Look at our dead day together. We're gonna get matching ones. <laughs> That's it. King and queen on them. You know, the playing card on this finger. No, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a crown. And Meg's getting a oh crown. yeah, and I'm and I'm getting a crown on my hand as well. Like king and queen. Oh, that really annoys me, Sophie. It, uh, you just blew people on my hand. Imagine if we did the, I'd die. I'm hungry. How are you hungry? I don't know. I've eaten so much food since I'm making You've had two teas. I always have two teas. You always have two teas. I always have two teas. He does always have two teas. Yes. Two teas. <laughs> it's bedtime. Oh, this is so my space, look. 
Oh, MySpace, 2006, bruh. MySpace. I was still in primary school in 2006. Now you got to do the fucking... The fringe. Wait a minute, let me get you ready. Goodbye. <laughs> Happy Saturday. <coughs> They're all gross. We're going to get lunch supplies. And if they've got any sparklers, you can get sparklers. Sparklers! What am I getting? Brioche buns. And? and gluten free bread. And sparklers. Yes. Crack. And some crack. I got the jack. Only I got the crack. I got the crack. Good quality. We're getting oh, good quality get good crack. crack. I always done all week and just go to the shop. I'll be doing every week and just go to the shop to watch telly. Yeah. We watched the most recent American Horror Story Cult episode as well. Yes. So excited for the last one. I called it though, didn't I? Yeah. All of the bits that happened, I was like, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, and it did. So I feel smart. Like yeah, and then at seven, I need to be in Cottingham. It's a fucking scooter camp over there. <laughs> With music coming out of his bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a weird song as well, it's like Flow Rider. Um, yeah, so just a bit before seven, I need to be at Lazat's to photograph an engagement party. That finishes at 10. So that'll be nice. And then I'm seeing Sammy. Tomorrow? No, tonight. I'm gonna have a drink. She's just coming to mine. Drink. We're in the car. Yay! Where we go? We're going to Primark. I'm taking Dad shopping in Primark. But if we don't find anything in Primark, I might have to go somewhere else. But we're going to go to Primark first. Yes. Because Primark that is, is always... Alone, that is Rockstar on Radio 1. Loud. Because Primark is always the best part of call. And we're waiting for Mum. Mum doesn't do Primark, so she's not coming in with us. But I she's she coming does. in with... I'm hoping she does, because she doesn't do Primark. Could do team. But... Send her to TK Maxx. <laughs> I love TK Maxx. So Mum's I've going to a gallery. i from there. Oh, she's getting in. Yes. Hello. 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 Doggies. Really cute oh, board. Cute. I am about to attempt to drive into a multi-storey car park. <laughs> you attempt to do it, you are going to do Woo. it. For the first time in the world. For the first time in the world. For the first time in my life. First time in the world. <laughs> yeah. Nobody has ever done it before. Ever. Not like me, yeah. Here we go. Here we go first. Yeah. Nope. We're probably gonna go all the way around. One. Nope. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to actually park yet. Oh man, I've passed four spaces. Yeah, none of them have been the right one. Oh, are they gonna move so I can drive past yeah. them? Yes. I don't think they are. Yes, they, yes are. they are. Keep going. I can't. Keep, keep going. Keep going. going. They'll have to move. There's no choice in the matter. Look at the happy, smiley people in that car. Exactly. Go forward and knock the chavs off the bikes. Mm -hmm. so you might want to go forward, Meg, otherwise you're not going to get out of the car. Yeah. Um, straight no, I'm, I'm yeah. too yeah. close. Out. Okay. Why would you come in here on your push bike? I don't know, it's funny. Because it's a laugh. I mean, you're... it is fun coming back down. Brilliant, Meg. Well done. Yeah, put there then, sweetheart. Stop. Hey, Sam, stop in. I did it! Yay! I in a multi story car park! Boom! Really yellow. Yeah. That party that I just photographed, that TV is really loud, was really nice. I can't remember And now I'm here with Sammy and I've got some chips. 
got some chips. And we're just going to sit and have a whinge on the couch for a bit, aren't we? Yeah. It's been what, a while what since we've we had... Best. That is what we do best. It's been a while since we've had a, had to sit in a whinge. Love having a good mood. Yeah, we usually do it in Darley's though, don't we? Have you been it? Yeah, it looks actually... It actually looks, looks quite happy. nice though. It's very weird though. The chips are weird as well now. Oh no, it does it. They're like massive. Ooh, they're like a whole potato. I'm going to have to go. Gonna have to go like next week. Yeah, I'm coming back again like in a week. Because I got that big seafood platter, like because I'm still eating fish. Yeah, and I couldn't even eat the chips. Well, I was like, they've not, they've not chopped these. I remember one time I'm gonna just like lean on you like this. <laughs> one time, <laughs> me and Sammy went. Who else were we? Remy, Remy and Ashley. Ashley, yeah. She was all in. I look fucking weird. I need to turn around. And there was this thing on the menu called <laughs> Megasaurus. I was like, no, you have to order it because you're with Ooh. me. It's got the word Meg in it, you need to order it. Turns out it's a massive what, like 20 foot 20 ounce 20 stick. 20 ounce stick. <laughs> and yeah. the first, Ruby and Sammy had one each and ate all of it. And I was just looking at them like, what about the whole like thing with Ashley's pigeon story? Oh, well? the fucking <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> Was it Ruby's pigeon story? Or was it Ashley's pigeon story? No, it was Ashley's story. pigeon story. It's the first time I met Ashley. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was the first time I met her. Yeah, but a couple of months ago, me, you and Emma went to Darley's and me and uh, Emma did the what? steak again. Oh my god, yeah. It's just a thing when we go now. We just have a big ass <laughs> Not anymore steak. for me. I know. Uh, pescatarian now. Proud. Well proud. Saved the animals. What, what was the pigeon story? I can't even remember now, but, but we I remember like, us crying. Like cry, crying. At it. it was so funny. I'll have to ask. I bet she can't remember either. No, probably not. I can't feel as bad as my pigeon story. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pigeon. I know. We only talk shit about people that deserve it though. Haters gonna hit. Potatoes gonna put it. I'm a potato and I am potatoing. Tomatoes gonna tomato. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Tomatoes gonna tomato. <laughs> that doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Uh, Is it gone? I can't find it. Sam is the queen of like knowing when something's gonna like get deleted, so she'll screenshot it. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Tomato, I have a story for you. I'm gonna have to stop vlogging now because I have a story for you. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. But I had a really nice catch up with Sammy. But I am starting to get ill and my voice is going, which is not great because I have to give a presentation on Monday at uni. Um, I'm travelling back to Sunderland tomorrow. I haven't bought my train ticket yet though, so. But I am definitely going tomorrow. Because I've said presentation, I am exhausted. It's really late. It's 1am. And I just walked Sammy halfway back home. And now I'm going to take my makeup off, watch some South Park. Sammy just messaged saying she got home fine, so we're good. Um, I'm really tired. No. You do. I, I look like a toe. What are you doing? I'm I'm playing with a multimeter. What's that? Uh, today I am mostly <laughs> playing with a multimeter. Okay. I will get it to work. What does it do? It tests electric currents. Your dad's loaned me it. Granddad's checking for electric currents. <laughs> Not electric raisins. Not electric raisins. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I am at my nan and granddad's house. No, I ain't a clue. No. Well, yeah, we're doing a stop off on the way to York train station, aren't we? Uh, yes. Hi. Um, oh, there's the battery. Dropping nana off at home because nana and granddad came round for lunch and I made everyone vegetarian hot dogs. And they were extremely nice. And, and Meg's cheese. mum made uh, some undercooked, cheese some undercooked cheese skirts. <laughs> she fixed them though. Yeah, good. Where's Nana? There you go, I'm still in front of you. Yeah. Hello. Oh. 
Oh. Did you enjoy your lunch that I made? I did. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Cheese scones. Oh, my mum made them though, didn't Fabulous. she? Fabulous. Fabulous. Do you want a drink of anything, mate? Um, yes, please. <coughs> I'm kind of thirsty. We've got Diet Coke or juice. Have you ever known me to say no to a Diet Coke? Well, I don't know. You could have changed your mind. You might be like your mum has gone off it. One day. <coughs> I need to wash my hair. Thank you. <coughs> Have you got anything else, anything else to eat you want? I've got loads to eat in that biscuits. bag that mum gave me. Got I'm alright, thank you. Quavers. Ooh. She's got quavers. Oh, some cheese and onion crisps. Ooh, quavers. <coughs> it's squeaky. Last bag. Yay! Are you sure you don't want them? No. We can share. No, no. Thank you. <coughs> when you turn it on, oh. all the digits come on. Oh. Beeping. And you can test any amount of things. That's mad. Meter man. It's not everybody gets to blog and such items, is it? No. Nope. Multimeter. So there we are. And all I need to do now Imagine is see my friend this evening. Yep. Who's going to teach me how to use it. That's good. Multi just multimeter things. <laughs> I like the beep. I'm taking my watch to see if... Is it broken? Yeah. My friend's mate, who is called Mick the Tick, because he repairs watches. Mick <laughs> the Tick. Oh, so I'm God. taking my watch to see if it can repair it's that a as well. Case for a to Mick the Tick. To Mick the Tick. You've still got my shrine. I should hope so. Pardon? I remember you bringing Stephen to our house and ship Did I? I was convinced I'd never taken him. <laughs> yeah, you did. And you, um... I showed him my shrine. Come in, come in here. Come and look at my come shrine. Come and look at my shrine. I had a it shrine. It is a little bit of a shrine. You've got two. There's two one there, there, one there. I took that one. And that one, so that kind of counts because I took those. It even has my little, my old Facebook um, oh, your blonde, logo. Blonde. Blonde balance. Blonde balance. From when I used to be blonde. And then you're over there as well. There's so three there. I need to have some more modern ones. Yeah, you need an updated one. You don't have one of me with my ginger hair. Oh, and, and then there's the second, second book of fairy stories. No. Have we got anything in here that you... Do you remember you in your um, Alice in Wonderland Flower book? pressing. Don't know whether there's any in here. What's that? that is a well-loved one. Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Yeah, that is well-loved. There we there's go. There's some in look. there. Oh, look at that. So that would be when you were about eight. Blimey. This is so cool. This one, which is oh, Grimm's fairy tales. Now that is scary. If you want scary, that's a really scary book. Here, yeah. Jurinda and Jurindel. Mm. That's so sweet. I think these were done when we were in Shipton Thor. When I had my house, <coughs> my first decent house. Mm -hmm. I. I had a dresser, like, you know, quite like a sideboard thing with big shelves on the top. And at the time, it was quite fashionable to put old plates and things like that on. Ruth does that in her kitchen, doesn't she? She's put some on, yeah. Yeah. So I asked, I asked Nana and Auntie if they had any that I could use. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, yes, we've got a box in our lot. And then they got all these things out. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've got them. And these Toby jugs. They've always frightened me. Toby jugs are very... You have in my quavers. Very valuable. <laughs> Only three quavers. Only three quavers. Actually four. You've got four quavers. They're, they're quite... They okay. scare me a bit. And this is from China. Quavers in the way. 
Um, oh, that one's nice. Yeah, that was um, Auntie Joyce's Uncle Frank went to China and he brought all these things back and that was one of them. Mm. So that's very old as well. So if I take them to Antiques Roadshow, you never know. Like <laughs> yeah, you'd want to keep them there, wouldn't you? I would. I came home to, I'm trying to not show my address, my white rabbit selection box, I'm going to call it. Selection box is a good, what if it's not even just a box, what if it's just all loose? Well, I'm then assuming, it's not a selection box. I'm assuming it's going to be it's loose. It's like putting bars of chocolate in your Tesco in bag your and calling it a selection box. This is my box from white rabbit. <laughs> And I literally have no idea what's in here, so I thought I might as well open it on the blog. I recently became an ambassador for White Rabbit Skincare. It is all cruelty free and approved by all of the best associations. It's just full of good stuff. And as a problem skin human, I'm very excited, I just stabbed myself with the scissors. I'm very excited about this because I've not found my Holy Grail skincare brand oh, yet. I love packing peanuts. So I've got this fancy, look at this Sam. It's tied up in a fancy bow. Okay, maybe it is a selection bow. I'm excited. Oh, and there's, there's a paper and a flannel. What else is in here? Flannel and what looks like a turt bag. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I have my brand ambassador packet. Oh, look at Melanie. She's so cute. Melanie created the White Rabbit Skincare Company in 2015 uh, from her personal pain point of being diagnosed with psoriasis as a teenager. White Rabbit Skincare is based in Scotland and it's Available for the UK. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Luxury vegan skincare handmade in Scotland. That's so exciting. And these are all of the. Can you even see them on the bottom? There. Those are all of the like companies that they're approved by, I think. And the awards that they've won. Oh, and they use recyclable packaging. That's a really good selling point. But I have a discount code for 15% off for anyone that is watching this. It is MEG15. So if you want to buy some of this wonderful potion, then use MEG15 and you can get yourself 15% off. That's really cool. This is literally like Christmas came early. It, feel, it feels kind of special being in the same room as somebody giving out a discount code. Do you feel fancy? It's like all the YouTubers do it with millions of subscribers. This is heavy. Mate, and this packaging is well nice. Look at these. So I have two of these tins that are both 100ml. And one is Rosehip and Camellia. Camellia Day Cream for sensitive skin, cruelty free and vegan. Comfort Cleansing Balm, Shea Butter, Eucalyptus, Rosemary and Lavender Essential Oils for softer, smoother skin. Fancy ass tins. Lime and Coconut Cleansing Water, yes. Cleanses, nourishes and removes all makeup. Makeup remover? With no need to rinse. This is like micellar water. And of course, cruelty free and vegan, just like everything else. And there's 200 milliliters of that. And then orange and aloe turner. I bet that smells really good. Soothes and revitalizes with sweet orange, aloe vera and glycerin for all skin types. I'm so excited to try these properly. Hashtag release the bunny. Oh. Divana Lynch uses it. You know, thingy from Harry Potter. She's my favourite one. Luna. That Evanna Lynch. 
In love with this vegan skincare brand, been using this range for the past two weeks and I gotta say, someone who won't even answer a FaceTime call without full makeup, my skin looks great. That is amazing. Happy Monday morning. It is quarter past nine. I am ill, like, ill, and it better actually be cold outside because it looks like it's cold and I am dressed for it to be cold, so if I get outside and it's warm, I'm going to be mad, because as much as I love this time of year, it is so deceptive, the weather is so deceptive, I'd have to give a presentation, gross, so I'm going to go set off in 15 minutes. I'm really hungry but I don't have it in me to eat anything because I want stuff with like vitamins in it and for that I think I'm going to need to go shopping so I'll put my wonderful white rabbit skincare you need to see my buddy is there oh, tote bag in my backpack I'll say that to you do with me because me and Laura are going to go charity shopping uh, she asked me to go Charity shopping with her, so I'll take her. See if we can discover any hidden gems, and I'll buy some food that has vitamins in it, and maybe some vapor rub because I don't think I have any. Oh, and then I'm gonna come back and be productive, and I'm gonna shower because my hair looks slightly better than it did because I just covered it in dry shampoo, but it's still really gross. <laughs> We did our presentations. Oh. Went really quick. It's yeah, nice, they actually all got finished within an hour. We'll just walk down the street and then we'll turn around and go back again. <laughs> um, and then we're getting a lot of stairs. I know. But I do this all the time. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you get used to it. Sometimes you just turn it around. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's always worth it. Um, but yeah, we got nice feedback. I bought pink. <laughs> and I bought something from a charity shop which I've got in my white rabbit bag. I'll, sh I'll show it when we get home. Some trousers. Marge said that she liked my cover so much she actually wanted to read the book. Which is good. But you're not feeling so positive about yours, oh, are you? No, they told me a new asshole, honestly. It like... wasn't as bad as she thinks. It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cute. Oh my god, look. Always runs the risk of it being real when it's from a charity shop, though. The moon. I can just you can play your tiny violin. <laughs> tiny violin. Woody and Jesse in there. And Buzz. I have just gotten home from uni and being in town with Laura. We went into every single charity shop to try and find her a winter coat. And it just so happens that I found something that I liked as well. Which... I was umming and ironing about for a while until I realised that it was £2.50. Well, they were £2.50. It's a pair of trousers that are originally from Select. But look at these mad ones. They're like pink and purple and blue. Straight, like they're really long. So I'll probably have to turn them up. But they were £2.50. £2.50 and they've got cute little zip pockets on the butt. So I'm well excited to style those. I'll probably do a look for my blog or something because it's been a while since I've done anything for my blog. It's kind of taken a back seat since I've been back at uni. But I've got my October favourites purse to finish today and then I'm going to photograph my White Rabbit skincare stuff for Instagram and Twitter and all of the social medias. I don't have a big list of stuff to do today but... I'm going to have a sit down first because I've been up and about since half past nine and I genuinely have no idea what time it is. But my presentation went a lot better than I thought it would because I went, I think there was ten of us and it actually finished within an hour which is the first time that has ever happened and I went third to last so I went and then the two Laura's went after me and I was looking at everyone else's and I was like these actually look like book covers. I'm a bit worried but... They only had nice things to say, so fingers crossed a good mark comes from that. I did Coraline. Um, I'll see if I can insert a photo here of what I actually created. I'm not 
like I wouldn't submit it to a website to be used as a book cover or anything like that but I'm still happy with what I did in a short amount of time because we didn't have very long to do it all but Monday's a new day I'm gonna wash my hair sort my life out tidy up and unpack my suitcase because this room is a mess this Monday was supposed to feel like a good day like a good new week and it did this morning it felt great until about four and I just got cold and I sat in bed and I was like tomorrow is another day tomorrow is a brand new day and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day I will see you on Friday